Hi friends, welcome back to the Ohio County Public Library for today's story and activity. So today we are making a flying bird craft. I think you'll like this one. This one was a fun one to make. It did take a little while longer than some of our crafts have made. However, I think you're going to enjoy. We are going to start, however, with announcement at the bottom of the screen. It's cold outside. I don't think you want to sit at the park for a story time today. I don't think you want to sit at the park tomorrow either. So we are going to try to do our story time in the park on Friday at 2 p.m. at the playground at Wheeling Park. Masks and social distancing are required. What if the weather forecast changes for Friday? I will let you know by noon at the latest on Friday if for some reason we are going to cancel. I don't think that's going to happen. Weather forecast says close to 60 degrees on Friday afternoon. Pretty sunny. I think we'll be all right. We might have to wear a jacket, but I think we'll be okay. Today and tomorrow, uh, let's just not even try. So unless something changes, I will see you on Friday afternoon at two at the playground at Wheeling Park for our story time at the park. I think next week, the weather looks really good. We should be just fine. This week seems to be the only problem. All right, so I'm gonna take that message down so you can see our book a little bit better. Our story for today is Little Green. Can you tell what Little Green is? What kind of bird is that? Little Green is a hummingbird. Have you ever seen a hummingbird fly? They zip around really, really fast. And they zip all over the place. So I think you'll like this one. Little Green. This is written and illustrated by Keith Baker. I see you out there, Little Green. In the flowers and between. Zipping round and round and round. Jigging, jagging, down, up, down. Dip, dip, dipping. Sip, sip, sipping. Looping in a curly cue. Little green, I still see you. Going, coming. Softly humming, stopping, starting, dashing, darting, zigging, zagging everywhere, hovering up in the air, coming for a closer view. I wonder if you see me too. Well, I've been busy watching you and painting how you flew and flew. That's a lot of painted zigzags and curly cues, isn't it? That's because that's how they fly. They're kind of all over the place. So that was Little Green, written and illustrated by Keith Baker. I hope you enjoyed. And now on to today's craft. So, Flying Bird. I told you in our description for today's video, you were going to need paper, heavier paper, I feel. This is cardstock, what I made mine with. Would construction paper work? Probably. I think it would be all right. I was thinking about this a little bit earlier. I think it would be okay. Um, I think the cardstock would just be a little bit more durable. What does durable mean? Durable means it's gonna last a little bit longer. If you make it out of construction paper, after you play with it for a few minutes, it might start tearing because it's not quite as heavy, but it would work. So you needed paper, paper. You needed scissors and glue or tape. I even use staples on mine and crayons, markers, something to decorate. So the first thing you're going to do, if you notice my piece of paper has some folds on it already so that I could mark some lines. The first thing that you are going to do is you are going to take your paper and take one of the top corners, doesn't matter which one, you're going to hold it tall, up and down, 
like an ice cream cone. So you're going to take one of these top corners and you are going to bend it down. Do you see what I did? So I'm going to line up this top edge of my piece of paper and I'm going to line it up over here so that I now have that shape. And I'm going to crease it really well. Okay. Now I have this bottom piece. I'm going to use this bottom piece for my bird too. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to fold the bottom up. Does that have to be perfect? No, as you can tell, mine isn't folding very well, but that's okay. So we'll just do it that way. And now if you notice, I have made a square with that top piece of paper. It's no longer a rectangle. Now it's a square when I fold up the bottom. And if I flip it over, you are gonna see that I put some directions on mine. I am going to cut here on that big fold that I told you to crease really well. Now, if you need help with scissors, have a big person at home help you with your scissors. If you have been practicing your cutting and you have safety scissors and you feel like you can cut that by yourself and follow that line, you can do that. So now I have a triangle, that's three sides. One, two, three. And now I'm gonna follow my other direction, which says to fold here. So I'm going to fold that. And I have now made my bird's wings and i'm going to crease that one too so there's my first piece made as you can see it's my bird's wings like that okay now i have this piece of paper and my directions say to cut here where i folded that bottom up that's going to be the body of my bird so I am going to use my scissors and cut on that crease line that I made. Again, if you need help cutting, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You get a big person at home to help you cut or to watch you while you cut to make sure you don't hurt yourself. So now I have my body and it says fold here. So I'm gonna fold that in half. And again, I'm gonna crease it really well. So now I have my bird's body and I have my bird's wings and I have this piece. I don't really need this piece, but I do. So I have the body and the wings, but I need a head. So I just cut two circles out of my scrap piece of paper. And if you would like, you can cut two thin strips of paper to attach to your bird's wings that you're going to pull on to make him fly. I did mine a different color. See, mine are white where my bird is yellow. If you wanna make them green because you have this piece of paper to use, you can do that. I also used the rest of that piece of yellow for me and I cut out my bird's beak. And I just colored it instead of using a different color paper because I had this piece that was extra and it was plenty to cut out two heads. I glued one on each side so that it would look nicer. I cut out two beaks and put one on each side so it would look nicer. And you should still have enough to do your little pieces to make his wings fly. Now, I'm going to put that to the side. I have the body and I have my wings. I'm going to put my wings right down in that fold so that now I have my body piece and my wing piece and you are going to glue. Did I glue? No, I taped because I was in a hurry and I'm not even gonna do that on this one. I'm just gonna hold it really tight. If I were you though, I would make sure I put all kind of glue stick down here in the middle, maybe even on the wings, and I pressed it really well to make sure all this holds. Now, after it's dry, I took my scissors and I cut some feathers 
in my bird's wing. Do you have to? Probably not. But the directions that I read said to do that. And I follow directions. So I went ahead and cut those. So now I basically have my bird's body and wings put together. I'm not going to show you cutting out two circles. But if you want to cut out your two circles and attach so that you have your bird's head on there, you can use your markers and your, your crayons or whatever you have to decorate his face. You can color his little beak and attach it. I just glued my head on either side and my beak on either side. And the last thing we need to do is we need to attach these two pieces for his wings. The video I watched glued it. And as soon as they tried to pull his wings, one of these straps came off. That's why mine have tape. And even with the tape, uh, the first couple times until I got them in the right spot, I pulled them off. So when I got the right spot, I put a staple on there. I put mine about halfway up his wing on either side. So I'd have to still have enough to grab at the bottom, but it would be close enough to the end of his wing to bend that piece of paper. If you put it too close down here to the body, it's really hard to get them to flap. So attach those straps. If you're gluing, you're gonna have to be patient. Let that dry. If you don't let it dry, you're gonna rip them off as soon as you try to do this, okay? So I don't think it's a bad idea to use some tape or some staples and just help, okay? So then I can hold him with one hand and I can flap his little bird wings until he flies away. So I hope you enjoyed our story and activity for today. Don't forget, I'm going to put that message back up at the bottom of the screen. Story time at the park on Friday at 2. Playground at Wheeling Park. Masks and social distancing are required. If the weather would happen, the forecast would happen to change and Friday afternoon starts to sound bad, I will let you know by noon on Friday if we are not going to be there. So if the weather doesn't look good, maybe it seems colder, maybe it looks like rain, you can always call here at the library to check and make sure. I don't want you to go to the park and then I'm not there to read to you, okay? So I hope to see you all on Friday. Bye, my friends. Have a great day.